Hello everyone, my name is Jamie McQuaid from Magnet Forensics and today we're going to a quick video to show you how to do uh, an acquisition of a device that has a MediaTek or MTK chip chipset. So in front of me I've got a blue phone, it's an Advance uh, A4, um, just got it in front of me here, yeah, Advance A4, uh, model number, you can't see it. Um, basically uh, this is a, a cheaper um, mid to low late range phone that you see quite a lot of these devices have uh, MediaTek chipsets in them uh, which are uh, exploitable uh, by many tools including uh, Magnet Axiom. So um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do an acquisition of this phone uh, with Axiom and show you how that works. Uh, we've got some cases details up here. We'll just leave the defaults. No need to, to mess around with that for now. We'll go to evidence sources. We'll go to mobile. We'll choose Android and we'll acquire evidence. Now, this phone is off right now. We're gonna pretend I don't have a passcode for it or don't know the passcode for it. It's uh, it's unknown to me, so we're gonna to have to do a lock bypass for it. We'll hit that. We've got a few options here, LG, Motorola, Samsung, other. We're gonna use other because it's uh, based on the chipset, not the actual manufacturer. You could see other um, manufacturers using MTK chipsets. Um, obviously, we don't have a button for blue phone, um, but uh, if you go under other here, you'll see the MediaTek or MTK option. So we'll select that and we'll have some options to, uh, to go down the list here. Now, first thing you wanna do is download the appropriate driver. Um, I've already done that, so we've uh, uh, bypassed that, but if you need to download it, just click download now and we'll, uh, we'll get you the right driver for your system um, for the uh, the process to, to actually happen. So we'll skip that part here, but if you haven't done it already, make sure you do that step. Then we're gonna verify the drivers and follow through this step process. We'll hit start. It's gonna make sure that it's disconnected. We don't have it plugged in here yet, so I'm gonna keep it disconnected and we'll hit next. We'll turn off the device. I, like I said, I've got the, the battery pulled here and it's, uh, it's off on my computer, so that's good. Hit next. We'll connect to the device to the USB cable and wait for Magnet Axiom to detect the device. So now we want to, to connect it, make sure the battery's in there, and hit it connect it. There we go. It might take a second. Detecting MTK device. This is all automatic right now, so we'll let uh, Axiom do the work. There we go. And so it detected it. It moved over to the select devices. We see it's an Android generic uh, MDK uh, because the actual device doesn't matter in this case. It men mentions the chipset, which is the supported chipset there. You've got some other hardware details. And the key thing here is it says privileged access, yes. That means we've got the phone in a good state. I can get a full physical dump of this phone. We hit next. We choose full because that's what we want. We want a full physical dump of it. It gets queued in here and uh, we can continue on. Now I can put the processing details. I'm just gonna skip through this and just leave all the defaults on for processing. Uh, there's no need to, to go through everything here, um, but we hit analyze, go down to analyze evidence and it's ready to be acquired. We'll hit analyze evidence and it, I've got photo DNA hashes on, so that's fine. It'll just cache those for a quick sec and then um, it'll start the, uh, the acquisition process for us. And there it goes, it's starting the acquisition. You'll see it'll start acquiring it in, in progress. Depending on the size of the phone, usually these are smaller phones, so they don't take too long. Uh, but depending on the size of the phone, obviously the acquisition is going to take longer if it's, um, you know, the 32, 64, 128 gig phone. Um, obviously the smaller 8, eight gig phones and that uh, don't take too long at all. Um, so you let it run, do the acquisition, and uh, you'll see the results on the other side of it. Okay, the acquisition is complete and it's just moved over to processing. Um, now it's going to go through and uh, process the image and parse out any artifacts that it has. But uh, all in all, the acquisition's done. I can un uh, unhook the phone or disconnect the phone and uh, uh, start with my analysis. That's everything I've got for this video. Have a good rest of the day. Bye bye.